Hi, my name is Sam Sloan. I've been sharing lots of little videos, hints and tips around how it is that we can use Zoom, Teams, etc, PowerPoint, all that sort of stuff. But today, getting asked more and more um, around Teams. How is it that we can utilise and use Teams? And there's been a relatively new piece of functionality in Teams um, over the last couple of weeks. Well, a couple of months probably. So let's just have a look and it's breakout rooms. So you're looking at my screen now and if you've got the latest version of Teams you should be able to see a little icon up here that now looks like two little boxes uh, into sort of inter intertwined if you like into each other. What we had to do before with Teams of course was set up separate meetings and send each different group in with a separate link and they started to get really confused and a little bit clunky whereas now thankfully they've really tightened that process up and made it really super simple for the host so let's have a look at how it is that we do it so we're going to click on the little icon and then you'll be presented with a box um, however it is that you want to select and set up your breakout rooms so it's going to ask you first of all how many rooms that you need so let's just say two because I've got two participants in uh, just for the purposes of this uh, and it also then gives me a couple of other choices do I want to do it automatically in other words the system will set that up and whoever's in your meeting other than of course the host it will send in to breakout rooms or it will select them to be, go into breakout rooms for instance but then of course you've got a manual option the automatic option pretty obvious what it does it actually physically selects the individuals for you cuts out a little bit of legwork and makes it a bit easier but let's do it in a manual way first of all just to kind of see how that works so I've selected manual two rooms and then I go to create rooms what that will do is it will now throw the breakout rooms over onto the right hand side not into your participants panel but actually into like a little breakout panel separately so it's given us here a sign participant so it's now giving me a bit of a choice on where and what it is that I can actually do so let's just say ZZ Sam here I've selected ZZ Sam and it's going to ask me to assign to which room so I'm going to select ZZ Sam in room number one we can see her there now this guest ZZ Sam by the look of it possibly because I've joined as uh, the same person if you like within my second or third machine uh, it's just not allowing me to select but if it did it would allow me to select that I would assign and then ZZ Sam would go off into the second room as well so I haven't started the rooms at the moment I haven't done anything I've not set them going if you like but if I did very very simple I would simply press start or if I actually wanted another room for instance or if I had uh, more participants kind of join maybe after I've done the assignment for instance I can then add another room but all I simply do now is press start and what happens is you'll literally the learner will disappear off into the breakout room sometimes it can take a few moments etc they can do the activity in which that maybe it is that you've set for them it could be with a jam board for instance you could set them off doing a jam board in there which i'm going to share with you in just a second but get them doing something some form of activity uh, where they can get involved as well so you can still see here that it's kind of still turning etc and i'm just waiting to see if Z -Z sam has actually gone in to that breakout room so i'm just going to pause the recording just for a second Oh, there we go. Sam, I was just going to say, well, Sam's already in there. So Sam will have now gone off into that breakout room. And if I wanted to now, I've got a few options there. I can go and join the room. I can rename the room or I can physically close that room. And you can see there that it clearly says that that room is open, which is fantastic. So that's it, Sam, off she has gone into that breakout room as well. So like I've said, uh, I can, if I wish to, I can go and join that room what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close that room now and you can see there that it clearly says closed and so the sound will actually come back into the main room um, as well I think it um, might give you a countdown timer sometimes I kind of when I'm looking across to my second machine but they tend to come back in within a few seconds anyway and then come back into the main room as well it's really easy to use but one of the other things that you can do of course is things like Jamboard in breakout rooms now we've done it in Zoom before um, but how is it that we can actually utilize it within Teams so if I share my other screen let's just say I've got a Jamboard open 
and this is the jam board here that I want my team to kind of use within that breakout room. So before they go into the breakout room, for instance, I've opened up the jam board, team's jam board. I could put on if I wanted to a sticky note, uh, maybe the task or whatever it is that I would like them to do. Uh, can you please, whatever the task is, whatever it is, like I've said, I want them to do, could do that for them. So. We can have that ready for them when they go in and of course I can share my screen with the learner before I actually do this and before I send them into the breakout room. I can then go up to share, this is before you'd send them in. You can see here though at the very bottom as I go into share on the Jamboard that actually it shares only the link if you like. If I just drop that down we can see here that it actually only says viewer. Just let me pop, uh, it actually only says viewer and then I just need to change that to editor and then when I copy that link I click done and then if I just go back into my screen here in this main room I just simply pop that link into chat and then of course my learners can select that before they go off into that particular um, breakout room for instance very very easy I just flip back to the breakout rooms and then of course I would start those rooms like I've just mentioned once you've kind of got everybody settled into the Jamboard. Great to debrief as well afterwards, you could get the learners to share their screens for instance right at the very top here so they would be able to share their Jamboard uh, with the rest of the team or of course you can use that as the facilitator as well to just debrief that activity, get everybody involved as well. But just don't forget to make sure you change that link to editor before you send the group in because otherwise they'll only be able to view it they won't be able to add to that Jamboard. Okay let me know how you get on uh, within your Jamboards etc and within your uh, sessions let me know if you use breakout rooms in teams and let me know how well it has worked for you as well. Thank you for listening.